Well, Colorado got a royal visit yesterday mm -hmm. from the land of Arendelle, Queen Elsa herself and Broadway royalty, Adina Menzel. Yes, I, I mean, awesome. a very recognizable voice, <laughs> but maybe not recognizable out of costume right. to the kids. But Adina Menzel <laughs> and her sister, Kara, who's a teacher, read their new children's book to a lucky school uh. in Erie. And Danny New was there and got a free concert along with it. Oh, yeah. It was magical. Every time <laughs> she sang, you were like, I know that voice. Right. And uh, actually, like, got teared up when she was singing to the kids because it's just like emotional like they're oh, hearing oh, their queen yeah. like there's no one more iconic than her when it comes to like children's oh. music in the last yeah. 10 years so this was at Meadowlark school in Erie like you mentioned mm -hmm. and of course immediately started with Frozen for once Adina Manzel got to just sit and let people sing Frozen to her she sat crisscross <laughs> applesauce and just along, yeah. took it all in and uh, we'll get to her singing a little bit too don't worry uh, so after Adina and her sister Kara were serenaded by the lovely choir, they got to read their newest children's book, Loud Mouse, to the entire school. Kara actually went to see you and then taught in the Boulder District for over a decade. Nice. And their mom lives in Colorado, too. So uh, Colorado is a very special Aww. place for both of them personally. Nice. And the book is actually personal as well, since it is actually based on Adina's childhood. The young mouse, the loud mouse, named Dee, Adina's nickname growing oh. up, uh, is a singer herself. She's starting to realize that she loves to sing. And the book's message focuses on what it's like when people react to you being yourself. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nuanced lesson you're trying to pack in there, which mm -hmm. is that like if you're born with like a generational talent, that doesn't mean that it was that easy growing up, like to sing and see people's reactions to you. Like that can be overwhelming for a kid, and that's what you're trying to pack yes. into this book. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we really, it's really about vulnerability. Like you know how being your best self makes you vulnerable, and so um, that's that's okay. So if you have some discomfort around it, that's all right. You still do it. You move through it anyway. Well, now they know. <laughs> Could not leave Aww. without belting out that line, not. right? No, yeah. of course. After about 30 children were like, um, can you please sing that <laughs> go? Uh, you know it had to happen, and Adina was very gracious about yeah. it. Even though it was about being frozen, about 600 children melted, uh -huh. And two dozen parents said, oh, thank God. <laughs> because so many were like, please, 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 please. And she did, and she was very nice of her. Uh, so uh, we did get to talk to Dean about Frozen a little bit, which is uh, good timing because the third yeah. movie just got announced oh. in February. And the 10th anniversary is coming this year, which she actually oh, ten years. Yeah. did not think wow. about just yet. I mean, it's hard not to be reflective right now because now that it's somehow 2023, they're telling me, that means that it's been 10 years of Frozen. Has it? Yes, wow. 2013. Okay. Like, what does that <laughs> make you think, like, when you think about the last 10 years now? Oh, well, that's just, <laughs> I mean, it's changed my life dramatically. Um, it's so a lot to let it go. Yeah, that's it's a, a lot, lot to let go of that. Go. Or process. <laughs> process. No, I think about all the parents that um, just hate me in their home. <laughs> but um, it's a gift and a curse, I think. It's, um, they love me and they hate me. But, uh, no, it's changed my life. Um, dramatically for all the best reasons. Um, anytime that you are a part of something that um, you feel really communicates a message to young people that you're proud of, you know, this message of really embracing your uniqueness, your power, understanding how to kind of harness that and send it out into the world. I think we all need that message even as women, grown mm -hmm. women, we need to remind ourselves of that. But um, so, so to be able to talk about that um, and for lack of a better word, be a role model. Um, this is something I don't take lightly. That's why it's time for number three. Keep it going. <laughs> yeah, we, we another just generation. heard about that. Yeah, we just, I just found that out too. Oh really, that was your first time finding it out? <laughs> sort of, there was a rumor, but yeah, that made it really, that cemented it and I thought, Ooh, good, I can pay for my son's school next year. <laughs> College you know? money is set. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Iger. <laughs> The Loud oh. Mouse is out now, and the sequel, which focuses on Kara's childhood, called Proud Mouse, comes oh. out this September. But my big question was, so cool. uh, is she kidding? Did Adina Menzel know about Frozen 3? Three. Three? Was she joking? <laughs> was she, I couldn't oh. really tell. I don't know. Did she find out with all of us when Bob Iger announced it? Not really sure. I don't know. That is a good question. Like, yeah. I hope she's did, did in you? it. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Yes. It would yeah, not yeah, be I the same, it. obviously. No, I, I Olaf's story her. now, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and there were a lot of kids there who were like, 
dressed up like in oh, Frozen. Sure. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah. My favorite moment was they let the kids ask questions, and most of them just asked if she could sing Let It Go. But then one mm -hmm. kid was like, um, Miss Manziel, do you know any other famous people? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yes, yes, yes I do. Oh, Kristen Bell. Yes. <laughs>